In today's video, how much cardio should you be doing to lose weight? Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Ravella from ProPhysique.com. In today's video, I'm going to get straight to the point. I'm going to talk about how much cardio you should be doing to lose weight. And the question came from my Instagram direct message. So what I like to do is get questions from you guys. You send me some great ones. If I feel like it's something that I can help out with and maybe help out a few people with, I'll put it on my YouTube channel. So here we go, guys. Follow my Instagram, send me a DM, and then subscribe to the channel if you wouldn't mind, if you enjoy the content. But let's talk about how much cardio you should be doing. So the question I'm gonna put on the screen here comes from a man who's got a great question. It says he's a janitor and does cardio several days a week, and he finds that he's not losing weight, so he wants to know how much cardio he should be doing to lose weight. Well, the first thing that I wanna talk about is the National Institute of Health and what their recommendation is for things like cardiovascular disease and weight management. And a lot of the recommendations I found were very similar. Four to five days a week, 30 to 60 minutes of cardio or exercise activity that's actually considered rigorous. What do I mean by that? Well. You know, probably being a janitor is might not be enough. Okay, rigorous I would consider something that's more kind of purposeful. So if you're going for a walk, it's a brisk walk. If you're if you're doing some resistance training, you know, you're doing it with purpose and not just sitting around texting on the machine between sets with very low intensity of your training. Okay. When I say rigorous, you know what rigorous means. Rigorous to one person can mean something different, right? My man Doug Miller his rigorous workouts would kill the average man. So it doesn't need to be a Doug Miller workout. It doesn't need to be a professional bodybuilder workout. It doesn't need to be you know, a CrossFit world champion workout. It needs to be rigorous for you. That will change over time. So what do I suggest? How much cardio should you be doing? I would like to see people doing 30 to 60 minutes of steady state cardio a week or interchanging that with some type of exercise. But when my man tells me that he's already on his feet working all day, okay, so that's what I consider a high activity job. You're on your feet, you're moving around all day. You know, that's what I consider something that's not sedentary. I used to have a sedentary job. I did this all day, okay? I was a network administrator. I sat in front of a computer all day. I had to go do something rigorous. I had to go play basketball or get off my feet to move. This guy doesn't need that to happen, okay? He's already doing that. Plus, he's adding cardio on top of that, okay? If you're adding cardio on top of stuff, if you're doing 30 to 60 minutes of cardio four or five days a week and you're not seeing weight loss, well, then here's what we need to do. Start paying attention to diet. It's that simple. You know what's going on. You know how you gain weight. You do not gain weight by eating a nice, healthy diet. You eat and gain weight by eating like crap. What does eating like crap mean? Well, it means constantly you're making the decision that probably sounds the best, but you know isn't the best, okay? We use these terms like fattening and eating healthy um, as kind of coining uh, a food as being bad for you. And I'm constantly saying there's no such thing as bad foods, but there are certainly bad decisions that can be made with foods easier, okay? It's very easy to go over your portion size with pizza or donuts or ice cream. It's very difficult to go over your portion size with grilled chicken, with broccoli, with rice, these types of things, why? because they create more satiety. They're not as calorie dense. So what you need to do, my man, is start tracking your diet. Now, I'm not saying you need to be specific with anything, but what I would suggest is just start paying attention to how many calories you're taking in a day. Track your calorie intake for a week and don't change anything. Don't be like, oh, I'm tracking. Okay, maybe I'll skip the soda. Maybe I'll skip this donut. Don't do that. Track your diet for a week and understand that you're probably taking in way too many calories for what you're doing. And you might just be balancing out what you're doing uh, with the diet by doing some cardio. And that's why you're not seeing weight loss. The only way to lose weight is to be in a caloric deficit. You have to create a caloric deficit. Cardio is just a tool to help you do that. Some people don't need any cardio because they're body type, because they're active. You might be one of those people. However, nobody can stay lean by eating in a caloric surplus in large amounts of time all the time, okay? That is how we store body fat. Once we stop growing taller, 
The only thing that happens when we overeat is we grow wider, okay? This is what happens when people get out of high school and they start gaining weight, okay? When you're when you're growing and your body's constantly changing through adolescence, yeah, you can overweight, you can overeat a little bit and not really put on a lot of body fat potentially. But once we reach that place where our body stops growing up, that's when it becomes easier and easier to put on body fat. So to me, it sounds like you have a nice approach. You have an active job. You're doing some cardio. Hopefully you're doing some resistance training but you're just not paying attention to diet. So how much cardio do you need to do to lose weight? Well, the real answer could be as much as zero if you're taking, taking care of your diet, okay? It could be that you need to start doing some, some cardio, and I actually have another video that discusses this topic specifically, how to start cardio to lose belly fat. But what's most important is that we have the whole picture. We're not really kicking butt over here with cardio and training, but not even paying attention to our diet has to be a holistic approach. Training and cardio, diet, sleep and recovery, repeat. And that's how you get successful. So start making good decisions and you will have success. All right, hopefully this helped you out. I hope you guys are having an awesome day and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Oh.